Hello everyone. Welcome to SST College of Arts and Commerce. I am Assistant Professor Padma Desh Pandey. Today I am going to cover the subject Workforce Diversity, which is an HR specialization for TYBMS Semester Six. So today I am going to cover some of the aspects of Workforce Diversity and Overview in Module One. So let's begin. Workforce diversity. What does workforce diversity mean? Workforce diversity basically means that it is a workforce consisting of broad mix of workers from different racial and ethnic backgrounds of different ages, genders, and of different domestic and national cultures. So basically, diverse workforce means that in the organization there are people belonging to different caste, different religion, different creed, different age, different gender. So an organization wherein all these people work together and they live in a peaceful harmony and the work is getting done. That is called as workforce diversity. Now, why workforce diversity is important? Workforce diversity is the inclusion of all employees from different backgrounds. Now, uh, people belong to uh, like in the domestic arena. Here in India, especially, we have people belonging to different states, right? So they have their own culture. They have their own. Traditions, they have their own value system. Then uh, people are from different ages. Similarly, in the multinational companies, what happens is there are people from different different uh, cultural backgrounds. They work from they are there from different different uh, countries. So it's all about including employees with different abilities as well as disabilities. Because um, in uh, see every human being is uh, having certain strengths. And certain weakness. Similarly, some people are blessed with all the physical abilities, and in some cases, there are special cases that they are having some disabilities. Okay, physical disability may be there. Like they might be physically handicapped, but they have a very sharp brain. They have a very uh, Uh, active mind and they are working, doing all the work actively. So that these kind of people should also be included in the mainstream. So having this kind of people along with this, there are people from the different genders also, right? Male, female, and even people who are transgenders, they should also be given opportunity in the main. for a mainstream so workforce diversity is basically inclusion of people from different backgrounds different genders different religions so in simple terms an organization which has a mixture of workforce or a heterogeneous workforce is called as workforce diversity now why workforce diversity is important what is the goal of workforce diversity diversity it is to create a workplace basically that is inclusive and it reflects the community like uh, an in inclusive workforce business what happens is when there are mixture of people in that organization that organization will be uh, known to all it will be known as a people's company and uh, work when there is a diverse workforce what happens is lot of innovation and competitive spirit is there now let's try to understand what is the uh, advantage or disadvantage of uh, having a workforce diversity in um, advantages uh, the uh, more the diverse the employees are there in uh, a in workforce diversity if in uh, basically the advantages if you see uh, if, uh, if when there are mixture of employees what happens is there is more ideas more creativity more uh, productivity is there we can handle different type of customers like say for example if your office is situated in the uh, south 
and you are basically a north indian company but your office is situated in the southern state and if you have people working over there uh, you have a mixture of south indian peoples also and the north indian peoples also so what happens is you will be able to cater in a much better way with the south indian customers because you are having in your staff south indian people who will be able to handle the customer query queries and when there is a mixture of people in the organization people like to stay in that organization there will be less number of turnovers there will be more profits and the company will earn a good reputation however there are certain disadvantages also more the people means there are chances of more conflicts many times lot of opinions are uh, available at such times taking decision becomes difficult there might be communication problems then uh, the cost of training increases and then in case of some serious uh, happenings like some law misdeeds uh, or sometimes legal uh, matters happen so at that times the legal procedures can be too lengthy so these are the disadvantages of a diverse workforce however diverse workforce is is important for an organization because it will give new ideas new thoughts new creativity and it will help in engaging the employees it will help in maintaining the employees it will help in retaining the employees there will be more of productivity uh, we'll be able to uh, understand our customers diverse customers we will be able to understand and we will be able to serve them it will help in a better decision making and uh, in such type of organizations uh, people can be attracted like this in this organization people from different backgrounds are there so people would like to work in such kind of organization <coughs> sorry uh, the reputation of the organization will be improved there will be more trust and teamwork so these are the importance of workforce diversity now there are certain other diversity importance also <coughs> especially in terms of talent so if uh, there is a uh, talented team so what happens is we'll get a lot of wide range of ideas then there will be wide range of experience we will be able to understand uh, different types of people there will be more creativity and we will have a talented workforce within the organization because as i said in the beginning every uh, person has certain strength and weakness and along with uh, the person's uh, strength and weakness his cultural background his training <coughs> i'm sorry his education all these things also comes with him so having such a diverse workforce like say for in an organization there are people from various caste then there are people from different cultural backgrounds there are people from different educational backgrounds there are people from different experiences uh, people of different age groups are working in an organization so everybody brings in their own thoughts own perspective own ideas this will all in together help in the um, positive growth of that and of that organization now there are certain advantages and disadvantages of having a diverse team also like what are the advantages team and workforce diversity so what are the advantages first thing is if you have a multiple uh, set of people or with people with different ideas in your team obviously there will be lot of uh, more ideas more perspectives there will be always you know uh, there will always be new ideas coming up then uh, there are chances of having multiple interpretations then there are having chances of having more creativity uh, the problem solving skills can be more and this will enhance the productivity of the team however there are certain disadvantages also like many a times um, there might be conflicts sometimes decision making may become 
complex there might there are chances of miscommunication or confusion happening then many a times people might not come on the same level of agreement then there might be conflicts in uh, terms of certain uh, uh, areas wherein you know decision making is difficult however uh, still there are more advantages and disadvantages like uh, when we have a diverse team what happens is we can have a larger pool of ideas uh, the people will be able to work in an um, better way there will be qualitative output then um, uh, interaction also between the team members will help in increasing the knowledge enhancing the knowledge see every person has uh, we are always in a learning stage you know uh, even though whatever might be my experience but every day brings in certain kind of new experiences new lessons to each one of us we learn from each and every member in our uh, organization in our team in our equipment sentences in our day to day life we meet different types of people and from those people every time we are learning something new so uh, the more the diverse the work team is or more the diverse the team is you will have more kind of diverse knowledge and this will also when you are working in a team what happens is there is more of commitment there is more of motivation more of attendance however again when you have a diverse team there are chances of lot of uh, misagreements sometimes the commitment might not be equal from all the members see when you are working in a team uh, commitment has to be there from all the members if the commitment is not there from uh, a few members then the work gets affected then uh, what happens is many times in this teamwork uh, individual achievements are overshadowed like say for example there are 10 people performing in a team what happens is the individual contributions are uh, not looked upon and only the team recognition is seen so in this what happens is in a team that out of that 10 people maybe it is possible that six have worked very hard and four have not worked at all but still the team gets the recognition so what happens is the individual contributions of the six members might get overlooked upon or overshadowed so this is an problem when you have a diverse uh, work force or a work team and um, many a times if there is a single person he is low in moral or if he is uh, he is not having that high spirit or he is a person who always talks negative then what happens is there is demotivation or demoralization in the entire team so these are some of the disadvantages of having a uh, workforce a diverse teams so in today's chapter we have basically seen what is workforce diversity what is the importance of workforce diversity what is the role of workforce diversity what are the advantages and disadvantages of workforce diversity diversity and we have also seen what is uh, di workforce diversity in teams what are its advantages disadvantages and its importance so we'll continue this session uh, till then stay connected thank you